So when I seen her trying to put her wig on and now she's telling us be ready to fight and some girl attacked her, I'm like, okay, hold on, hold my camera. Tell me why I ask her for my camera. And this girl tells me she doesn't know where my camera is. Mind you guys, I was only gone for at the most 15 minutes. You mean to tell me that you just told me two different stories about what happened to my camera in less than a minute. That's what you're telling me? You know, I need to pop my ears so I can get my ticket, you know, and you know, Real B, you know, gave me my ticket. So shout out to Dream Doll. But yeah, Dream Doll really did her video going and blessed me with this ticket. And like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, well like, it's just a ticket and you're not gonna be on the show and blah, blah, blah. Listen, it was an experience. Like, I felt like I was in the jungle. Like, you know, like that's how it felt. Like literally, if you were there, you will agree with me. Like, it felt like you're in the jungle and you know, it's a competition at the end of the day. So even if you got a ticket and you don't make it to the show, I still want you to be proud of yourself. I still want you to know that you're a baddie because at the end of the day, you got up out of your bed, you had enough confidence to go put yourself out there and audition, you know? And so if you left with a ticket, shout out to you. You popped your ish and you did your big one. And for the girls who didn't get their ticket, that doesn't mean you're not a baddie. It doesn't make you any less than the next person who did get a ticket. It just means like next time, you know, next time you gotta move a little different or maybe you learned like what you should have did differently. And the next time you do go on audition, you probably will get your ticket, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, shout out to all the girls who showed up, shout out to all the girls who had enough confidence to put yourself out there. I feel like if you showed up and you popped your ish for your ticket, whether you got it or not, you're still a baddie. Cause guess what? You made it there. A lot of people don't even have the confidence to put themselves out there, you know what I'm saying? So if you put yourself out there, whether you got a ticket or not in my eyes you're still a baddie you know what I'm saying period because a baddie you know pursues her dreams and if you are out there pursuing your dream or, or trying to promote whatever it is that you're growing or that you're doing shout out to you you a baddie you a baddie you a baddie <laughs> Baddie, baddie, shot a clock, move that body, make it pop. Baddie, baddie, shot a clock, <laughs> drop that thing. <laughs> Y'all, okay, so now let me get back to the story. So after that, finally I got my ticket, you know. So I'm like, yes, I'm like, yes, I'm like, yeah, I did it. Like I got the ticket. So after that, I'm like, oh, I got my ticket. I did it, you know. And even if I don't get casted for the show, like it doesn't matter to me. I still feel like I'm a winner at the end of the day. Like, you know, I went out there, I popped my ish, I kept it classy and cute, and I walked away with a ticket, you know. So, um, but yeah, so after I get my ticket, now I'm like going back to look for the girl that I came with. So the part that I didn't mention was that the girl who I went on this trip with, right? Um, she was leaving the stage before I went on the stage. And she was telling me that some girl attacked her. Well, actually she was talking to me and the girls that I was in line with. She was like, some girl attacked her and she was like, be ready to fight. So I'm like, what, what you mean be ready to fight? And you know, plus I already heard the thumping on the stage from being behind the curtain. So when I seen her trying to put her wig on and now she's telling us be ready to fight and some girl attacked her, I'm like, okay, hold on, hold my camera. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hold my camera because at the end of the day, I'm here to get content and I would hate to have to break my camera or something happened to my camera. So I'm thinking, let me give this girl my camera to hold for me for five to 15 minutes at the most because these auditions happen really quick. And you know, I go pop my ish, I get my ticket, I come out, I'm looking for her now. I find her, she's outside like walking around and I'm like, hey girl, I'm over here. And so she walks up to me, she, you know, you could tell she's pissed. You know, she just got in a fight. She didn't get a ticket. So, you know, she's, you know, irritated. So I'm like, hey, like, you know, I got the ticket. Like, where's my camera? <sighs> tell me why I asked her for my camera. And this girl tells me she doesn't know where my camera is. Mind you guys, I was only gone for at the most 15 minutes. I wasn't even gone 15 minutes, but let's just say 15 minutes, right? I'm like, what do you mean you don't know where my camera is? And she's like, um, when I was leaving, security didn't let me grab all my stuff and your camera was left behind. So I'm like, okay, go show me where you left it, where security, where security didn't let you grab my camera. Why she now changes the whole story 
And then she's like, oh, no, no, no. I left the camera in the bathroom. When I was in the bathroom, I walked out and I forgot it. So I went back and tried to get it and it was gone. So you mean to tell me that you just told me two different stories about what happened to my camera in less than a minute? That's what you're telling me? Because I look like Boo Boo the Fool. That right there just let me know that this girl stole my camera. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't immediately think she stole it. I was giving her the benefit of doubt, right? I'm like, what do you mean? What happened to my camera? I'm like, go show me where my camera is. Go show me where you lost it. Cause she's like, I can show you the girls who, who might've taken it and this, that, that. So I said, go show me where they are. Why this girl didn't want to show me where the girls were. And then she had the nerve to say, stop telling people I lost your camera and somebody stole it. You didn't show me the people who you said you thought took it. You didn't show me the security guard that you said supposedly didn't let you grab all your stuff. And then you're not even helping me look for it. Next thing I know, she starts to start asking me about a bag. She's like, I need to go to the hotel and get my bag out of the room. Did, while, while I'm looking for the camera that this girl lost. So you mean to tell me I spent all this money on a flight, on a hotel, and a big part of me coming was to get content. So you mean to tell me that you just lost my camera with all my content from that day. Plus, I had other content on the same memory card. I had, I had other content that I had already filmed. I had like heck of content on that memory card. And you mean to tell me that all my content and my camera is gone. And on top of that, you didn't even have the nerve to help me look for it. You're telling me you wanna to go to the hotel and get your bag so you can go home. After just telling me that my camera is missing. So me and her start yelling, we start you know going at it. Next thing I know, security comes and he's like trying to walk us out the building. He's like, no, you guys gotta go, you guys gotta leave, you guys gotta go do that outside. At this point, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. So the event is pretty much over. And security is about to kick us out because me and her were like, it was a heated argument. Like, you know, it was, it was probably about to go down to keep it real with you. The way she was talking, the way she was popping it, like after losing my camera that I let you hold for 15 minutes, oh yeah, it was probably gonna go down. So once security started doing that, I'm like, F this ish i'm like eff it like um but luckily this other lady came and she was a security too i think she needed to be like banded up like with a band-aid so he got distracted he was literally about to kick us out right then and there so once he got distracted i like turned and went th the other way and i went and got another security to help me look for my camera i'm like you know what i'd rather look for my camera see if someone found it see what i can do instead of being kicked out right now not even being able to look for my camera plus my phone was dead so how am i gonna uber back to my hotel with a dead phone so i'm like you know what fighting this girl right now is not gonna solve none of my problems arguing with this girl right now is not gonna solve none of my problems i'm like eff it let me go look for my camera if it was truly lost or stolen let me go see if i could find it and charge my phone so i'm not stuck here with no way back to the hotel so security was helping me look for the camera we looked everywhere we went to the front desk to ask them if they you know if they had a camera turned in nothing nothing we were not able to find my camera you guys we were not able to find my camera you guys it didn't feel real i was like in shock i was in shock like i couldn't believe it i'm like you need to tell me i've had my camera this whole day and i leave it in the trust of somebody for 15 minutes so i can go audition and it's gone and you can't even really tell me where it is and you're not even helping me look for it on top of that you guys when i came back from looking for my camera i started to look for this girl and she was nowhere to be found this girl had left me there at the venue while i'm looking for my camera so the next thing i did was like you know what let me go charge my phone and uber back to my hotel so i get back to my hotel and this girl is waiting in front of my hotel talking to the security so i see her i basically warned her like don't come in here trying to start anything and told her like she needed to leave and um i went in the hotel security let her in to the hotel because that hotel you need a key card to get into the hotel it was a very expensive hotel you can't just walk in without a key card you can't even walk through the entrance without a key card and the security let her in you know for whatever reason you know whatever she told whatever story she cooked up and, and fed him um 
And one thing led to another. I'm not gonna get into detail too much because again, there was an altercation that happened. This girl did attack me. And like, for me, I just feel like that was extremely police of her to do because, you know, you're trying to start some type of drama, some type of problem. You know, if you wanted to attack me or fight me or do anything like that, you had the opportunity to do it at the venue where you probably, you know, where police wouldn't have been involved or anything, but you waited till we were on camera at a private establishment to attack me. So clearly you wanted to go to jail or you wanted me to go to jail. You wanted to involve the police and yeah. Um, the whole situation was just super ghetto. Um, it was just super, super ghetto. You know, I'm grown. Like, I feel like in my younger years, yeah, maybe that would have been cool, but like, I'm grown. Like, I'm a grown ass woman at the end of the day. I don't care, you know, what you think. Um, I'm the one who took an L for real, for real, you know? I guess she was saying she left the bag in the room and stuff like that. She never told me she left the bag in the room. When we left the hotel, she had bags in her hand. I don't know what you came with. I don't know what you, you know, how you rearranged your stuff. So I never even knew that there was a bag in the room. And should I really even care that you had a bag in the room when you just lost my camera, didn't help me look for it and didn't care? So she basically, and she even told me she would um, pay for the lost camera. She said, I'm tripping, it's just a camera, it can be replaced. But you literally attacked me over a bag that I never even knew was in the room that didn't even probably have nothing in it because the manager was saying that like, um, she said her makeup was in the bag or something because she was telling them like her bag's in a room and there's makeup in it. When everything was said and done, the manager did go upstairs with me to the room and found the bag, but the bag looked empty. When the manager picked up the bag, the bag looked empty. It didn't really look like anything was even in the bag, you know? So maybe it was just makeup, like she said, but still it's like, you were willing to fight me over that, but then had the nerve to tell me that I was doing too much because I was upset about you stealing my camera. Giving me a fake story about what happened to my camera and you're trying to tell me that I'm doing too much, but, but you didn't think twice about attacking me over your little bag that smelled like mildew. You didn't think twice about that. That just goes to show you how narcissistic, evil, selfish people can be. That's just to show you, like you can literally be trying to help somebody get to the next level in their life. You can be supporting somebody. Mind you, she would have never even known about this event if I didn't tell her about it, you know? And I told her about it because I wanted to support her. And I even told her like, I wanna see you on the show. I can see you, you know, on the show. For me, it was like, however it went, I was gonna be happy in the end because for me, you know, I, I mainly wanted to get behind the scenes footage and also I still have injuries that I'm recovering from, from my accident. So for me, it's like a whatever type of thing. Like if I get on cool, but you know, I wasn't gonna step on nobody's toes just to get on the show. Honestly, I really started to think like, you know, this girl is probably trying to use me for some type of storyline to attach herself to me. Like the way she was trying to like argue with me over my camera at the audition was crazy to me. Like you lost my camera my content instead of you to be apologetic and help me look for it you're trying to beef with me because i'm upset over my camera like normal people don't act like that normal people do not act like that so i'm like yeah this girl's definitely trying to use me for a storyline maybe she wants to fight me to redeem herself for getting beat up during her audition who knows who knows but you know super shady super shady and um you know, lesson learned. For me, I'm more of a team player type of person. I'm not intimidated by other women. I grew up around women. I have like six sisters. So, you know, and I'm the middle child. So like, yeah, like I love to support other women. I love to be around other women. It doesn't take nothing from me. You know, I'm a real girl's girl, you know what I'm saying? And I don't just say that. I show it through my actions on a daily basis. You guys can go watch my other vlogs. Go watch my pool party vlog. You know, I'm always socializing, interacting, speaking to others and, you know, trying to network. So the simple fact that she saw the opportunity to steal from me while I asked her to hold my camera and took that opportunity, it's just, it's just showing her character. She's an opportunist, she's a thief and can't be trusted. Me personally, you know, I already got another camera. So one thing about karma, it don't skip nobody. She's gonna get her karma for, you know, stealing from me. And um, <laughs> I got my ticket. Ah! It's all right.
already gone down in history, baby. Okay. That's what you get for trying to compete with other women. You know, you constantly think that you're better than the next person. And you guys, I didn't even tell you guys the night before I flew in, me and her were on the phone and we were talking and, um, I like, we were just having a conversation, you know, talking about the show and stuff. And then in the middle of the conversation out of nowhere, she's like, what's your Instagram again? Like, who are you again? Like, what's your Instagram name? Like trying to size me up trying to tell me I'm a nobody because she has more followers on Instagram than me. But in real life, you're a bum. You don't own nothing. Um, you were acting very hungry. I can even show you guys the cash apps that I sent her. Like on the way to my hotel, she was like, she was gonna get some snacks and I asked her to get me some. This girl asked me to cash app her $5. She asked me to cash up her $5. When we were at the auditions, I seen her eating some food and I'm like, oh, you went and got some food? And she was like, no, some girl gave me this. So you mean to tell me that some girl was already eating some food and gave you her leftovers and now you're eating it. Then this girl is gonna pick up a water bottle off the floor. She's like, oh, it don't look open and start drinking it. Like clearly you're not an it girl. You're not that girl. I'm sorry to say because you, you gave very much homeless. You gave very much hungry. I'm sorry you did. Because at the end of the day, like you want people who are gonna support you and uplift you and you know, turn your mind to other things that you can do to promote yourself. It's just so crazy, you guys. Like, remember I told you I gave some of the judges some hair from my unreleased hairline. I gave her some hair too. I gave her some hair too. When I came, when I um came into town, when she came to my hotel, I gave her some free bundles. So it's like this girl really didn't have no reason to be like that with me. Um, it'll never happen again, you know? And you know, we gonna leave it where it's at, you know? I'm not even gonna speak too much on that situation because like I said, she involved the police and stuff like that. Some people have no morals, no principles. They weren't raised with no type of home training and they're opportunists. They will turn on anybody. They will take any opportunity that they get to step on anybody to get where they need to go. And as for me, I don't gotta do all that. All I gotta do is be me and show up and you know, it's gonna do what it do. Like, you know, I don't feel the need to have to belittle the next person or step on the next person, steal from the next person. Like stealing a content creator's camera, that that's, that's big. You don't play with people like that. I'ma always be happy, I'ma always be me, and no one will ever be able to get in the way of my aspirations. But the simple fact that she tried it, and you know what's so funny? I think like, um, you know what's so funny? This girl sent me this uh, screenshot of her basically saying, did I get a ticket or not? Tune in, did it. So now you wanna start a YouTube channel because of me. Like, it's just so crazy. People will hate on you because they really wanna do what you're doing. So now all of a sudden, you wanna do a vlog about your experience, but you stole my camera so that I wouldn't be able to drop my vlog. Well, guess what? I'm still dropping my vlog. We here, I still got the BTS, and I'm still gonna do me at the end of the day. And I just thank God that there was nothing on that camera that was like embarrassing or anything. It was just a lot of unedited footage. So anybody who has any information about my camera, if you saw who took it, if you know who has it right now, send me a message, I'll keep it confidential. And yeah, that's what we gonna do. Okay, you guys, that is going to conclude my audition behind the scenes vlog. Um, now, my final thoughts, right? Ultimately, I would say I do not regret the experience. I'm very glad that I put myself out there. I'm very glad that, you know, I was able to see firsthand behind the scenes and what it looks like and like, you know, how the auditions are put together because it's a whole different experience being there and then watching it on TV. And I did get to meet people, you know, I got to see Roly. I said hi to Roly. I was like, you're pretty Roly. She was like, you're pretty too. And like, you know, it was just pretty cool. It was just good vibes, you know, I didn't really have have any issues at the auditions with anybody. I met a lot of nice girls who were there to promote themselves, promote their businesses. Everybody was a good vibe except for the girl that I invited. So I guess I have to blame myself for that one. Sometimes it's just better to do things on your own, but you know me, I'm a team player, so I always wanna include people in situations where I feel they can benefit if they're, you know, doing similar things that I'm doing. So um, yeah, you guys, that is my audition baddies midwest baddies gone wild vlog and yeah i had a good experience um 
everybody was nice, the security was helpful. There, there are a lot of things that I didn't talk about in this video, so just stay tuned for part two after they air auditions and then I can, you know, speak on other things that has been aired by that point. But yeah, you guys, that's going to conclude my behind the scenes vlog. Um, if you were at the auditions too, just comment and let me know what your experience was like because I know everybody's experience was different. Um, I'm glad that I was able to make it through the jungle without having to fight anybody. I was able to just get in and get out, look cute and you know, pop my ish. And ultimately I had a great time. So let me know what you guys think about auditions. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're not gonna really cast any of you guys. They're just using you guys for promotional purposes. I don't know what they're gonna do, but you guys know me. You guys have started this journey with me. So if I do get casted, then I guess we'll know if they're really casting people or not. So we'll see how it goes. Also, stay tuned for the part two Dia interview. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my vlog. That will conclude my vlog, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.